Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, hello family. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? Are y'all doing good? I hope so. I hope y'all are doing excellent today. All right, we're gonna get right on into this video here. We gotta wonder, we gotta talk about, we gotta try to understand why is, um, how can we say it? Why is Portia not wearing her ring, Simon? Why is Portia Williams not wearing her ring? We want to know. We want you to tell us because we're kind of confused. She always have that rock on her hand. She always telling us that you're her man. But really, she said you're her husband. But yet, you don't see the ring. Are you and her having a little spat here and there, there and here? Let a sister know. Because that's where we are. That's where we are right about now. We're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And why is Mama Diane over Shamil's brand new house and celebrating it with her birthday? Why is she not at home with Larry? Why is she not at home with Larry? Okay. We trying to see her being tickled pink there. Like she won't sign to tickle her tummy and something else. And we don't know if he gets down with the old, old boy mama. He might. It just is what it is. Give her a little kiki ha ha. Make her seem like she's a woman again. Then where's her husband? Diane, where's your daddy? Okay. I don't know what's going on. I don't really care to know what's going on. I just know it's weird as hell that we see Simon. You, Portia, and your mom traveling together. I'm like, don't she have a life outside of you? Where is her friends? Where's her friends? And why has she lost so much weight? What's she trying to do? Turn back the clocks of time? Turn back time. Has she drinking from the fountain of youth? Okay. Is she trying to take your man, Portia? But anyway, we got um Shamil confessed and told us on her social media account that she and her husband bought a house together. Congratulations, congratulations. So I guess the house that you were living in with him when y'all got married was his house. Okay. Understood, got it good. All right, so Candy and Portia and the other people that Shamil brought over to her brand new house to help her celebrate that as well as her um birthday. We knew Portia wasn't gonna miss that opportunity because she just had to pretty much figure out how did probably Shamia get this fantastic beautiful house and she's jealous probably that her and her her name is on the house. You see what I'm saying? Because Portia's name is not on uh Father Time house. Okay? And don't know if it ever will be. Alright, but I just don't understand I can see uh, Portia being nosy and wanting to go see. And I can kind of sort of see her mother being nosy. But I don't understand why you're not wearing your ring. Because Simon seems to have his on all the time. Okay? But you're not. So I'm like, are you using this as a thing for us to talk about, Portia? Or are you in marital... Well, you ain't married yet. Are you in boyfriend trouble? But you're a glorified boyfriend coming at you a certain way so you feel you don't have to have on your wedding ring your engagement ring your promise ring however ring-a-ling ding-dong you want to say it girl you ain't wearing it and we want to know why over here at the house we want to know why girl we want to know why because you're always kissing on him you're always trying to 
come or up one on Shamia, but Shamia is pretty much safe in her marriage, I guess. I don't know if she keeps hanging out on the streets with you, how safe it will be, because it doesn't seem like her husband is the type to try to dictate, but yeah, he can regulate now. He can regulate and say, you've been spending a little bit more time in them streets than you have been with your daughter and me. So, hey, I know you're a radio personality person out there, and it's your job to uh, be out there amongst the people in the community. But, hey, you, you first first and foremost, you are my wife, and I really didn't want you to work, but I knew that was something you wanted to do. But anyway, she may have got her best buddies out there. I think how it came out to be candid was friends with Shamia first, and then they brought Portia into the fold. But that's a cute scene that Shamia is trying to do by still keeping ties on both her friends that she likes, regardless of their concerns they have with each other. They came together for Shamia's birthday party and housewarming, I guess. Um, and that was a very cute scene. But Portia, I don't know about, but she's like a fair weather friend. She's there with you when everything's good, but when she feels some kind of way, and she feel you hurt her in some kind of way or dissed her, she will relocate with another friend at another location and forget she ever knew you should be. So yeah, you need to be very careful of choosing a friend in Portia because, like I said, she's a fair weather friend. And you remember she didn't come to your wedding that you had invited her to, and she pretty much had said she was going to come. But then something mysteriously came up, or you did something to her, and she called it quits. She did not come. Y'all kind of had loss of contact with one another for a while. But see, those are who we call fair weather friends. They're there when everything's good. They go when everything don't hit the fan. Or, uh, or we and shit still, I should say. But, uh, don't let Porsche come over there and mess up your man, your marriage, and all like that. Keep her with arm lengths, honey. Have not six feet, but twelve feet between y'all two when it comes to and your man because right now she's trying to emulate well i got a, a liberian man and you're you have an african man or maybe they both liberian i'm not sure <coughs> but um yeah Portia is playing a close role with her friend shamia and I, you know hopefully shamia smart enough to figure it out because if she don't uh she can buy a clue with candy candy can definitely clue her in on what is actually going on and how uh, Portia moves and this and the third, okay? See what I'm saying? Because she was with uh, Phaedra. Saw how that went out. And she was with Tanya. You see how that played out. And she called herself trying to get with Nene and Marlo. And we see how that played out, right? Portia is Team Portia. Okay, she probably put her own mother under the bus if she could get away with it or if it was something she was needing and her mother was standing in her way. Yes, Portia would walk all over her mother. That's just the tease that Portia gives me, and she is true to form about being everything about self, 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 but again, I don't know, Diane, think she went in that age group, I don't even know who that lady is behind Portia, but uh, what, why do we have Mama Diane here at a celebration uh, with a person that's your friend, younger than you, so why do we have her here? Simon, can you tell us, and who's watching Grandmama over there? And grandma husband. And where the hell is Larry? Simon, did you get rid of Larry? Were you trying to floss so much and buy his lady uh, everything under the sun? Were you trying to woo, romanticize Diane on the slide and Larry saw what you were doing and he tried to tell Diane, baby, it's me or him. It's me or him. I don't have the money that he alludes that he has, but I had love for you, baby. I got love for you. So I guess she dropped Larry like a hot sack of potatoes, weighing her down, I guess, because we don't see her with him. Uh, she's always around Simon, which is another negative factor to play into this scenario, and she's forever with them. You know, she was out there with her and PJ. They were shopping, and um, she was over Portia and Simon's house, allegedly, for Mother's Day. She was dressing all kind of inappropriate to be around her daughter's glorified boyfriend. And she was dancing all sexual in the same place, in the same area. 
in the same environment as her daughter and her so-called glorified boyfriend. Yeah, everybody was dancing, twerking, dancing all while, shaking her ass in front of the camera, like, who was recording all this, people? Who was recording all of this? And Simon called himself, want to cut a rug, want to do a little two-step and then, I'm like, brother, if you're going to sit yourself down and stop moving so fast, you're going to catch a crown. Ain't nobody going to be able to help you. You're going to have to rub it out yourself. Then we had uh, Mama Diane over there acting like she done got a new win on life, you know, trying to shake her derriere and show her breasts and all this. I'm like, Diane, sit down. It don't even look good. You don't look good. You're making a fool out yourself pretty much. And then we got Big Ted over there. I guess he came because he wanted to see her house as, as usual. People be nosing. They accept invitations. To like uh, grandiosis or big events where they know they get to get a sneak peek or a preview of what's to come, uh, stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, Jamil, don't be bringing everybody to your house and stuff. They be seeing how much they paying you, and then you don't get a real raise like you thought you were going to get down the road because you don't invite too many people into your private gigs. You see what I'm saying? Jealousy is out there, honey. Jealousy is out there. Be going strong. But it seems like, you know, you like inviting everybody and this, that, and the third. And I don't know, girl. I'm just I'm back. I said, I don't know. But if your husband cool with it, I guess you going to cruise down the highway with it, too, okay? You like Aretha Franklin. We're going riding on the freeway. And we love in a pink Cadillac. Yes, okay. She's no longer with us, but her songs will continue to be forever in our hearts, okay? And in our minds. But y'all, that's pretty much all I had for this video. You know, I saw a lot of questionable things. And maybe Portia and Simon can show us in form of posting it on their Instagram accounts or their Facebook accounts. You know, show us Larry. Is he there? Is he moved out? Has he got on uh, down the road with another woman? Shoot, Portia, tell us, honey, tell us. And if he did leave her, you better watch your mama. Okay, you better watch your mama because she might want to get your man, girl. She might want to get your man. Or do you already know that? Did you already catch them, girl? Allegedly, did you catch them in a predicament, a compromising type situation? Did you catch them for it? Okay, and now you're competing with your mama, girl. I don't know what kind of mess or what kind of relationship you and your mama got, but I ain't never had that kind of relationship with my mama, and I'm so glad I never did. We close, we good, we straight, but we never did anything. Me and my ex-husband or any of my boyfriends out there, we never did anything in front of my mom or my family member because we was too ashamed and we were too, what do you call it, respectful. Honey, okay, we were respectful. And I tell you, Diane's not respectful. You ain't it's respectful. Y'all act like y'all more uh, cousins, not cousins, but uh, friends or something, best friends, I guess. Trying to get it all and then some. That's that's messed up. That's messed up situation to be growing in. But anyway, that's all I had, guys. We had to do a little shady. We had to be a little messy. Because Portia has given us so much commentary to talk about. All right? And she's not showing improving. But she has been on her website trying to push that damn hair. I can't give it up to her on that one. We'll be doing a video shortly. More later than sooner. But I'm, I'm seeing her. I'm seeing her. She got Juicy Dora wearing her hair. She had an assistant Lauren wearing her hair. She had a sister Lauren wearing her hair. She had, oh, what do we call it? Uh, Miss Elizabeth, her aunt, as well as Lonnie, her cousin. I didn't know she had uh, sponsored them and they were ambassadors for her. I'm like, go ahead, because Drew show, show no, her hair got fixed up a little better. And it's all because Portia has made her an ambassador of her hair. So I guess everybody getting a little freebie here uh, or discounted prices to wear her hair. And it has been nice. Drew has definitely been looking nice with her hair. So thank God for that, Portia. Thank God for that. With that picture, I'm telling you, Tess, ooh, mm-mm. Like, she almost smaller than you, Portia. She almost up there with Shamia. I'm like, honey, you don't create a monster in your mama, honey. But she might just take your man, okay? Woo! Because I'm like, look, Kim, if I don't get paid, I'm going to throw a lot of shade. <laughs> 
And honey, it look like your mama is coming for your man. And technically, they look better together than you and Simon. If you really want to know the truth, girl, if you really want to know the truth, they look like a better couple than you and Simon. Because you're just looking like a gold digger, uh, Portia. Because you don't be messing with no broke, broke diggers. Ooh. But I'll see y'all next video, guys. And get in those comments and talk about this video, okay? And don't forget to go over to the other channels and subscribe if you haven't done so. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.